Hey, what's going on YouTube? So, I haven't done a review in a while. Uh, had a really crazy week. Um, but over the course of the week, I was able to pick up a few Black Series figures. Um, so I didn't exactly get these on Force Friday. But I got them at Walmart um, over the course of the week. So, I uh, was going to do single review of each one, but I decided to just do all three at once. So, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> out of the packaging and they look pretty nice um the paint apps and everything came out pretty clean in them um i gotta say it's better better than previous waves that i've purchased before um i kind of think they went all out or black series got more money or they went all out with the movie wave so let's just go ahead and dive into it um i'm gonna go ahead and start with ray so she's pretty good looking um Um, so, her head came out pretty good, um, you know, when you see people repaint them and they look so lifelike, it's just crazy to see it like this, and they did a good job, but, I mean, how far can they go with a, with a $20 figure? So, with her accessories, she came with the, uh, staff that she had in the first movie, uh, she came with the lightsaber that she found at the battle, the first battle. And then she also has the gun that looks that uh, Han Solo gave her, and it fits perfectly in this holster right here. Um, so her arms are real skinny, and it has an upper, have an upper arm, no upper arm swivel. I guess the paint just missed right there. It looked like she had a swivel, but she doesn't. Um, she has pretty good articulation there. It's a single jointed elbow, but it's pretty good. She can fit the lightsaber in both hands. Um, she has a joint right there where she hinges, um, and this does not go any further down. And her legs open up about that much. Is it upper? Yeah. So upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and ankle pivot, and back and forth. Kind of stiff, but it's there. So she's a decent figure. Um, I got them for 16 at Walmart. Uh, I think that's a good price for them, but we all know we, probably six months after the movie comes out, they'll all be clearance out. So there's Ray. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go with um, Luke Skywalker, who I was pretty disappointed in. <laughs> in all honesty. Uh, the, uh, the, the cape just is whack. I thought it'd be a lot better, but it, it just, it, it's, it's crap. It just goes on like that. You have to mess around with it to really make it look good. But, uh, it's pretty disappointing. <laughs> I saw somebody on one of the groups, uh, edit it. They put the wire on the bottom, and they messed around with this somehow where it wrapped around his neck perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and try and find that post and see if I can copy that. As far as he goes, he's pretty boring. <laughs> uh, single jointed elbow, 360 arm. Uh, the face looks pretty good. Um, he's an old man now, so... Uh, the eyes came out good, the eyebrows came out good, the beard came out good. There's no miss... You know, they didn't miss anywhere. But as far as he goes, you know, he's pretty plain. Just white all over. 
legs kicking out that much, double jointed knees, anything like that. But he does have the metal arm, which is pretty cool. But yeah, pretty basic plain figure. Didn't even come with a lightsaber, so that's pretty weak. Um, yeah, disappointed in that loop. Good head sculpt, but the rest of it's crap. Uh, Kylo Ren comes with his extra lightsaber. But as far as Kylo Ren goes, I'm actually impressed with it. Um, the head sculpt is really good on him. Uh, really impressed by this head sculpt. It's more like on the Marvel Legend, Marvel Legends uh, scale and look. So this cape thing's pretty cool on him. It comes off, fits perfectly. I actually wish they gave Luke Skywalker one like this. But um, yeah, it's a it's a damn good figure. It feels more like a Marvel Legend than any more any of the uh, Black series to me. Um, you know, single jointed elbows, everything like that. It's pretty much the same art articulation we've seen everywhere. But uh, I like the detail in his costume. Or not his costume, but you know, his gown or whatever you call this. Uh, the pants seem a little more brown than black. His boots are pretty nice. Um, double jointed knee, um, ankle pivot, back and forth. Stands really easily, so I haven't had a problem standing him at all. Um, but the face came out really good. I'm really impressed with this. You know, he has a scar. Not really good. I think this is my favorite out of the three so far. And the lightsaber looks really good. Better than the first one. First Kylo Ren. So, excited to have the three of them. Really happy to have the Kylo Ren. Those two, she's just kind of plain... Plain Jane Rey. And Luke Skywalker was just didn't come with anything really... Um, amazing but I buy these to take pictures with so again I'm happy with them um, if you're looking to get them I'd say get them now if you really want them or wait for them to go on sale all right guys that was my review for the last Jedi um, Star Wars black series figures uh, hope you liked it it was real quick um, didn't have much to say about them because they're pretty basic figures but uh, please hit the like button subscribe uh, leave a comment let me know what you guys think of these figures, what you guys think about the movie coming out. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so as far as my channel goes, I'm going to start uploading more videos of just you know, me hunting, me going out with my son, uh, doing stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned if you like the content. Um, and I'm going to try and get some more music videos out, so definitely stay tuned. Alright guys, take it. Set blaster phone full!